The book of Malachi, chapter 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord, but you say, In what hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, says the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountain and his inheritance waste for the jackals of the wilderness. But Edom says, We are made poor, but we will return and build the waste places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them in the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord has fury forever. And your eyes shall see, and you shall say, The Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. A son honors his father, and a servant his master. If then I am a father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my fear? Says the Lord of hosts. O priest, you who despise my name. And you say, In what way have we despised thy name? You offer defiled bread upon my altar. And you say, In what way have we defiled thee? In that way, the table of the Lord is a thing that is despised. And if you offer the blind for sacrifice, is that not evil? And if you offer the lame and the sick, is that not evil? Offer it now unto your governor. Will he be pleased with you, or accept your person, says the Lord of hosts? And now I pray you, pray unto God, that he will be gracious unto us. If this has been by your hands, will he regard your person, says the Lord of hosts? Oh, that there were one among you who would shut the doors, that you might not kindle fire on my altar in vain. I have no pleasure in you, says the Lord of hosts, neither will I be pleased with an offering at your hand. For from the rising of the sun even unto the going down of the sun, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, and in every place incense shall be offered unto my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the heathen, says the Lord of hosts. But you have made it common in that you say, The table of the Lord is defiled, and the fruit of it, even his food, is to be despised. You also said, Behold, what a weariness it is. And you have puffed at it, says the Lord of hosts. And you have brought that which was torn and lame and sick. You brought an offering this way, should I accept it from your hand, says the Lord. But cursed be the deceiver who has in his flock a male in vows and sacrifices unto the Lord a blemished thing. For I am a great king, says the Lord of hosts, and my name is fearful among the heathen. Malachi chapter 2 And now, O priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to your heart to give glory unto my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because you do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will destroy your seed and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feasts. And one shall take you away with it, and ye shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with Levi, says the Lord of hosts. My covenant with him was life and peace, and I gave them to him, he was to fear me, and he did fear me, and was afraid before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth, and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and uprightness, and turned away many from iniquity. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. You have turned out of the way. You have caused many to stumble by the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore I have also made you despised and low before all the people, according as you have not kept my ways, but have been partial in the law. Do we not all have one Father? Has not one God created us? Why do we act deceitfully each man against his brother, by making the covenant of our fathers common? Judah has dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah has defiled the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and has married the daughter of a strange God. 
The Lord will cut off the man who does this, the master and the scholar out of the tents of Jacob, and him who offers an offering unto the Lord of hosts. And you have done this again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears and with weeping and with crying out, so much so that he does not respect the offering any more, nor does he receive it with good will at your hand. Yet you say, Why? Because the Lord has been witness between you and the wife of your youth, against whom you have dealt treacherously, yet she is your companion and the wife of your covenant. And did he not make one only, though he had the remaining fullness of the Spirit? And why one? So that he might seek a godly seed. Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says that he hates divorce. For one covers his garments with violence, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit, that you do not deal treacherously. You have wearied the Lord with your words. Yet you say, In what have we wearied him? When you say, Everyone who does evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delights in them, or where is the God of judgment? Chapter 3, Malachi chapter 3. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, in whom you delight. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts, but who can endure the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem shall be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, as in former years. And I will come near you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the magicians, and against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those who rob the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and those who turn the stranger aside, and those who do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not destroyed." Even from the days of your father you have gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, In what way shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, In what way have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, so that there may be food in my house. And test me now with this, says the Lord of hosts, to see if I will not open the windows of heaven for you, and pour you out a blessing, so that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast its fruit before it the time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. Your words have been hard against me, says the Lord. Yet you say, What have we spoken against thee? You have said, It is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? And now we call the proud happy, yea, those who work wickedness have been built up. Yes, those who tempt God have escaped. Yet those who feared the Lord spoke often to one another. And the Lord listened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for those who feared the Lord and thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, in that day when I will make up my jewels." and I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then ye shall return and see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, between him who serves God and him who does not serve him. Malachi chapter 4 For behold, the day comes which shall burn like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly, shall be stubble. And the day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, 
so that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in his wings. And you shall go forth and grow up like calves of the stall. And you shall trample down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, says the Lord of hosts. Remember the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded to him in Horeb for all of Israel with the statutes and the judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, so that I may not come and strike the earth with a curse. <laughs> 